Hi there, my name is Lee, and this is Vision Eternity Ministries. Today we're going to talk about feelings. Let's acknowledge Jesus. Jesus, we thank you and praise you for the word that you have for us today, for helping us to think correctly in line with your kingdom, in line with your kingdom principles. We thank you and praise you and give you all the glory. And so Jesus is really adamant about us not living us Christians. We don't live by how we feel, but we live out his integrity. When we call ourselves Christians, we say we believe. We call things into existence that aren't, just like our father did. Jesus said, whatever you say to this mountain, it will be done for you. Before he said that, he cursed a fig tree. So he had a problem and he fixed it by speaking to him to, to the problem. He didn't call us to say how we felt to go ahead and take on the physical realm. But he said to walk in spirit. To walk in spirit, we don't go with our flesh. We don't live by how we feel. Those who don't know God live by how they feel, their opinion, what, what they think. And we don't. We live by faith. The just shall live by faith. We believe what we say will happen. So we really don't have to feel. We don't have to feel it. Just like Jesus, you know, he when he was in the garden, he said, Father, is there any other way? Because, of course, he was feeling his flesh was telling him, no, I don't want to do this. And, and then Jesus said, but your will be done. And that's what we have to do. We have to put aside our feelings and do his will. Do that thing that we need to do to fix the problem. And, and so, you know, if Jesus would have, go ha would have went ahead and said, I don't feel like it, I'm not doing it, then that would give us permission to do that. But we're living by faith. We don't live by how we feel. We live by God's principles. We live according to how Jesus lived, the example that he gave us. And of course, he had feelings, he had compassion for people, um, and we're going to have the same thing. We're going to have feelings, but we control them by changing our circumstances. And that's an amazing thing, an amazing privilege that we have to take the authority that we have and change our circumstances. No one will ever eat from you again, he said to the fig tree. And then disciples were freaking out. She said, I tell you the truth, whatever you say, if you believe what you say, it will be done for you. It'll, it'll happen. You'll get it. So why would we talk about how we feel when we can change how we feel? I can't imagine Jesus saying, I don't feel good. Of course not. He speaks to non-existent things as though they were. God didn't get out and say, oh, I feel really depressed. It's dark out here. He said, let there be light. And God is calling us to do this, to use his power to change our circumstances, to be that example to those who don't know him and not live by how we feel. Not let them catch us saying, oh, wow, I feel really this, I feel really that. Uh, um, I, I don't feel like I can do this anymore. I don't feel this, I don't feel that. And we got to help each other to get to that place where we don't say what we feel. Remember the, the 5,000 he fed? He had compassion on them. He was teaching them. He, he was um, healing them. And then it, it was getting dark and, and um, it was ending. And the disciples were like, we're hungry. We need to send them off. And Jesus said, no. No, we're going we're gonna to feed them with five loaves, five fish and five loaves, I believe it was. And he multiplied that food. He didn't say, oh, I feel really bad for you. I don't know what you're going to do. 
And in in the translation I read today, it says um, he didn't want them to faint. He said, we're not going to send them off. They might faint. And so God is saying, you don't live by how you feel, but you believe. You have faith. You live by what you believe, not by how you feel. And he's asking us to do that work. He's asking us today to go ahead and implement his word in our lives and not just take whatever comes our way. Change our circumstances. Change your circumstances. What you see is temporary till you change it. And when you change it with your faith, then it's eternal. Nothing will be impossible for you, Jesus said. So we don't have to let how we feel interpret our lives. Jesus was on a mission. And yeah, he was persecuted and it didn't feel good, but he kept going. He kept going. He, he was treated terrible, but he kept going. He kept looking for, forward for that day. He did it for us for so many reasons. And now we have his power in us to not live by how we feel, but by faith, by the word of God. And that's what he's expecting us to do. So let's acknowledge him, Jesus. We thank you and praise you for this word that you had for us today. The, the, the word you have for us is, it's amazing and it's something we need to hear, and I just thank you and praise you for pointing it out to us as yours, living in your kingdom. We don't live by how we feel, but by your word, by your kingdom principles, and we love you and praise you for showing us that truth. We give you all the glory. You know, I just feel like God is saying that this is so important this is so important in our faith walk that we don't slip up and keep saying how we feel because what we say is going to affect who we are and what we believe. And that, that stems from what we think. So therefore, we have to fill up with the Word of God. So we're speaking it. We're not saying what is. We're saying or what we need to happen. Thanks so much for listening today. God bless you.